Okay, this is the last brief exercise, and it's uh, BE 211, and it's about, I don't know, something like um, uh, to, so to determine select contribution margin items given sales, volume, and the variable cost per unit. And you know that the contribution margin, all of this is going to be a major takeaway from Chapter 2, okay? It's something that you just have to you have to know. It's got to be really easy for you. So this marina reported sales of 340,000 this year, generated from the sale of 170 small motors. And the question is, what was the average price per motor? Just hope that all of the exams are this difficult. <laughs> so we've got revenue of 340 divided by 170 motors. The average selling price is $2,000. Um, if their variable costs were 950 per motor. How much was with the contribution? How much contribution margin did the business generate? So they had sales of 340, okay, and we sold um, 170 units, and our variable cost per unit is 950 per unit. So that's 161,500 in total variable cost. Contribution margin then is 178,5, and if I divide that by my number of units, I've got the contribution margin per unit. Now just a couple things here to notice is you want to make sure that you label your numbers when you do this. Um, you know, and you don't have to use, I would just use CM for contribution margin but and VC for variable cost, but I would definitely label everything and, you know, keep your head straight as you go through it. Okay, that's it.